First, we have motion detection. Motion detection allows us to identify movement in a video over time. Essentially, it answers the question, is anything moving in this video? For example, we can determine if anything is moving within a masked region of a security video. We provide the model with a video and a polygon mask for the detection region as input, then the model produces a motion label and a confidence score for each frame as output. Motion detection is useful anytime you need to determine if something is moving within a region of a video. For example, detecting people moving in surveillance videos, monitoring the movement of wildlife on a game preserve, and helping collaborative robots detect humans moving within their workspace. Second, we have object tracking. Object tracking allows us to track the movement of an object over time. Essentially, it answers the question, how are these objects moving? For example, we can use object tracking to track the position, velocity, and acceleration of objects moving in a video. We provide the model with a video as input, then the model produces a sequence of bounding boxes and the corresponding object ID for each object being tracked as output. Object tracking is useful anytime you need to know how an object is moving in a video over time. For example, tracking people walking in surveillance videos, following the faces of moving participants during a video call, and avoiding pedestrians in a self-driving car. Third, we have action recognition, also known as activity detection. Action recognition allows us to classify various actions occurring in a video. Essentially, it answers the question, what's happening in this video? For example, we can use action recognition to understand human activities occurring in a webcam. We provide the model with a video containing various human activities as input, then the model produces an activity label and a confidence score as output. Action recognition is useful anytime you need to detect what's happening in a video. For example, detecting unlawful activities in a surveillance video, analyzing activities occurring in sports videos, and collaboration between humans and robots. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.